Hey everyone, Elliot here. Ever wondered if there's a legit way to unlock your iPhone from that annoying lock to owner message? Or maybe you've come across some sketchy services claiming to do it for a fee? Trust me, you don't want to go down that path. In today's video, I'm going to show you a completely free and safe way to remove the iCloud activation lock from your iPhone, iPad, or even Apple Watch. No tricks, no scams, just straightforward methods that actually work. So, if you're ready to finally unlock your device, stick around and let's dive in. Just a heads up, this info is only for people who legally own their device and have forgotten their login details. We don't support or condone breaking into stolen devices. Please respect the law and others' rights. Our video follows YouTube's rules. Now let's get started. All right, let's get right into it. You've probably seen a ton of services out there promising to remove the iPhone lock to owner message. But let's be honest, some of them can be pretty shady. Instead of risking your device with those, I've got some solid, trustworthy options for you. First up, there's Unlock Here's AI-powered unlocking web app. It's super user-friendly and reliable. Another great choice is Safe Unlocks, which has been around for a while and gets the job done without any hassle. Lock to Owner is another service that people swear by for its efficiency. And of course, there's the iUnlock app, which is known for being quick and secure. These tools are all about making the process as smooth and safe as possible. But remember, this is all for educational purposes. You should only use these if you own the device and have simply forgotten your access info. No funny business here. So let's dive into how to use Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant. First, open your browser on your phone or computer and go to unlockhere.com. This is an AI assistant powered web app that helps you unlock any mobile phone restriction. When you get there, let Nifty, the AI bot, know that you need an iCloud unlock by clicking on Remove Activation Lock. Next, select your device type. Make sure to choose iPhone, but also note that you can choose iPad or Apple Watch if needed. You'll then need to enter your IMEI or serial number. iPhones have IMEIs, so pick IMEI for an iPhone. Some iPads and Apple Watches also have IMEIs if they have a SIM card slot or cellular capability, but most of them come with just a serial number. To find this info on your locked device, press the sleep button, press it again, and tap on the I on the bottom right. This will show your device info. Don't forget to input your device information in the next step. After that, enter your basic info to attach the order to your account. Make sure this info is real so you can receive your order confirmation. You'll get a confirmation code sent to your email, which you need to confirm. Check that you agree to the terms and that you're not planning on unlocking a stolen device, then tap Start Process. Solve the quick CAPTCHA to confirm you're not a robot. You'll then get an email with a confirmation code. Also check your spam or junk folder as sometimes it lands there. Take the confirmation code and click the button to land on a page where you have to enter it. Once entered, confirm you're not a robot again. Once this is done, your unlock has started and your device will be unlocked. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone lock to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone, and as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it'll be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again once it's finally unlocked, so it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And there it is. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to set it all up later. Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the rest of the steps and just do it all later on. And there you have it. It says, welcome to iPhone. Now go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap, forget password, or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here you can just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. And yeah, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. If being locked out of your Apple device has you frustrated, there are legitimate methods to solve this. One solid option is to contact Apple support. If you can provide proof of purchase, they can help you unlock your device. This method is often overlooked, but is one of the simplest solutions. If you bought a secondhand device and it's locked, ask the previous owner to remove it from their iCloud account. They can do this by logging into iCloud.com, going to Find My iPhone, and removing the device from their account. Another option is to use reputable services like Unlock Here's AI-powered unlocking web app, Safe Unlocks, Lock to Owner, and iUnlock app. These services are designed to help you legally remove the iPhone lock to owner message without any shady practices. They're safe, effective, and follow legal guidelines. Typically, you'll need the device's IMEI or serial number and some basic information to get started. If you've forgotten your Apple ID or password, 
use the account recovery options provided by Apple. Visit the Apple ID website and follow the steps to reset your password or use the account recovery process for further assistance. Remember to avoid unreliable methods and always respect the law and others' rights. Just a heads up, the unlock services mentioned only work in first world countries. If you can't access these services or prefer not to use them, we've got you covered. We offer 250 unlocks every week exclusively for viewers who watch our videos. To enter, simply like this video, subscribe to our channel, and comment your device model, IMEI, and your country. Once you complete these steps, you're automatically entered. That's all for now. Catch you in the next video.